And it's, it's fair to say that, uh, that sodas have a big bad rep because they've got a lot of sugar in them. And there's, even in a certain variety, they still get bad on quite a bit. But I have to say that even when compared to alcohol, these are still, alcohol still pales in comparison to how useful these things are because alcohol is used for enjoyment while these can be used to stimulate the brain and raise your energy level. You don't want alcohol because alcohol has depressants. These have stimulants. They're yin and yang. Depressants mean you relax, mean you tired, or tired. I want to do it again. There's no way I can study as much as I want to once a year. No way. These, yes, I could. I could focus as long as I'm not watching YouTube videos all day, right? <laughs> so, according to bottom line today, we're probably going to do a 2013 article titled Coca Cola Cure Settlers in the Weird Order. We sometimes take quite <coughs> indigestible material stuck in our intestines called desert or little rocks of cotton in our intestines sometimes. Our acidic uh, liquids such as carbonated soda can dissolve away these health hazards that, left untreated, can lead to vomiting, abdominal pain, gastric ulcers, and intestinal bleeding. So, in some cases, the acidic content of sodas actually can help you no matter what variety you choose. Since they're so acidic, they can provide an external source of acid that you can dump in your system and then dissolve little rocks in your stomach called desert, which is kind of a weird name for the rocks. But. Now, it's probably the most obvious thing is that they come in so many different flavors, right? Now, soft drinks are really important in this way, and they also come in lots of diet versions. So, you know, we have the originals over here, and the originals are Mountain Dew, Pepsi, Dr. Pepper's trademark for the 23 flavors we already drink that one, right? And then there's no yellow <laughs> Coke. In Coca-Cola, I've got, this is the prime example I want to uh, demonstrate, because you can drink all these originals, get your regular sugar, your regular caffeine, and all that kind of stuff. These are all caffeinated, so the sugar content, the calorie content is going to vary. As we branch off from here to here, we'll see that Coke changes in taste as we move along, and it's also going to uh, branch off from diet versions.